Hello and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Barry and Dash and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Dash's ability to understand and respond to his obedience commands, the corrections and motivations we give the dogs while we're working with them, and the training equipment we're using. Barry's going to use a regular six foot web training leash and he'll keep most of that leash folded in his right hand which leaves the left hand free to give a correction. The correction if needed is just a tug and release on the training collar which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. You're going to want to keep that collar high up behind Dash's ears. That will give you the most control over him. You'll notice that Dash is seated nicely on Barry's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. The first command that we will demonstrate for you today is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash and the command is Dash heal. Dash, heal. You're going to want to take off walking and Dash follows in line with you. There should be no lagging behind or pulling forward. If he does pull forward, you're just going to give him a slight tug and release on the training collar and remind him by saying no, heel. And then incorporate it into the heel exercise as an automatic sit. So anytime he so stops walking, or excuse me, anytime you stop walking, Dash should sit automatically on your left waiting for his next command. Very nicely done. The next command we will show you is the stay command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm and the one word firm stay. command to stay. When you first start practicing this command, you might want to stand very close to him and make the sit stays relatively short, but build up his ability to stay for longer periods of time. When Barry returns back, he's going to walk all the way around him and dash to remain seated until he receives praise or another command. Very nicely done. And we'll run through the heel, the sit, and the stay again for you. It's important when you're working with him to praise him, keep him motivated and interested in the training. This is a great mental exercise for Dash, but we want him to enjoy the training process. Stay. Barry's going to leave him in another sit stay. And this time, instead of returning back, Barry will demonstrate the recall or the come on command. Dash, come. The command is dash come and he's been trained to come in and sit nicely right in front of you and then Barry will have him return back to the left side back to heel position very nicely done. The next command that Barry will demonstrate is down from heel position. Barry's going to use the, his left palm straight down towards the ground and the one word firm command to down. Down. Stay. Then going to leave him in a stay. The down stay is a great exercise to help develop Dash's maturity and self-control, so practice this often. When Barry returns back, Dash should remain lying down until he receives praise or another command. In the beginning, you're going to want to make your down stays relatively short, but again, keep practicing, build up his ability to stay for longer periods of time. And we will show you down from a heel position again. You can see that he really enjoys his training. He watches Barry the whole time. And this time, instead of returning back, Barry will demonstrate the recall from the down position. Again, the command is dash come. And make him come in and sit nicely right in front of you. And then Barry will have him return back, back to the left side. God bless you. <laughs> okay, great. The last exercise that I'm going to give Barry and Dash a minute to set up for is down from a distance. When you're practicing down from a distance, you are going to leave Dash in a sit stay. Stay. And walk to the end of the training leash. And this time you're going to use your right hand to give the down command from the end of the training leash. And it's one word from command to down. Down. Perfectly done. Stay. These are all the formal obedience commands that Dash has learned while he's been away at school. It has been such a pleasure having him. He's been a great student. We've really enjoyed him. We ask that you keep us posted on how he's doing for you at home. Please call with any questions and also call to set up any in-home follow-up training that you may need. We thank you so much for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainers.